one thing is that the lung ultrasound is not other ultrasounds like heart or the brain or the gut. The lung ultrasound is actually the artifact produced by the pleural line. So most important thing here, remember, this is the artifact because penetration is not there. A beams cannot penetrate there. So this is the reflection of the pleural line creating various aspects of the pictures on the image that is lung ultrasound. So first important thing, lung ultrasound is equal to artifacts produced by the plural line. Now, people do ask us, are we moving towards the ultrasound and removing the x-ray? Now, we started lung ultrasound in our unit in 2014. And in 2022, almost my 50% x-rays are reduced. So very important aspect. When it wants to confirm RDS, Think about surfactant delivery, think about second dose of surfactant, think about extubation, think about atelectasis, lung ultrasound is helpful. You want to differentiate simple things like TTN and RDS, lung ultrasound is the first one which will you give the clue. When we think about the two most important conditions, one is a pneumothorax and second is a pleural effusion. The sensitivity and specificity of lung ultrasound is very high. And that's the reason why we are talking here. Lung ultrasound takes one minute. Any fantastic unit in the world, extra takes minimum five minutes. So see the difference. Baby is going to collapse and you are thinking about lung ultrasound to diagnose that pneumothorax. And that is what we are trying to cover here. So friends, this is the most important modality which we all need to learn in our day-to-day -day practice. So now let's see how to perform. Just Dr. Sridhar has mentioned any ultrasound machine. What are the ultrasound machine you have? That means you are using for brain and heart. That's the same machine. You don't require different machines. So the machine is there. And almost you do have, you do have your probes also with you. So the most important probe, I would like to tell you that here we have this linear probe. And the linear probe 10 to 14, that's or sometimes 4 to 14, that means we need higher frequency because the lung is a superficial structure. So the superficial structure, we need a higher resolution where we need this one as the linear probes for the lung ultrasound. If you have additional facility, then this, what we call the hockey stick probe. The hockey stick probe, this Basically, the a probe is a small, hence it is easy to put in LVW babies. The footprint is a small, so that's a good one, as better than the linear. But if you don't have a dozen water, linear probe is acceptable one. Additional advantage of this hockey stick is a higher frequency. They are always 14 to 18. So I told you the machine, I told you the probe that is a linear and what you can consider as hockey stick. But linear one is acceptable. Now, what we need, one thing we need to do, exactly put this probe perpendicular. Perpendicular to the screen, marker towards the cranial side. Perpendicular to the screen, marker towards the cranial side. That's the only important thing. The brain ultrasound is difficult. You require swips. Heart is most difficult. You have 27 views in heart. Lung ultrasound is the most simplest, easiest, acceptable ultrasound because any person can do only one view, exactly put perpendicular to the chest and those are right, right superior, right here we can see that one area, right inferior, second area, right mid axillary that is a lateral, three areas, same on the left side three, the six areas you can we get only one views that's the beauty of lung ultrasound you don't have to sweep you don't have to tilt you don't have to rotate only one perpendicular marker towards the cranial side that's so simple i told you that if you have hockey stick yes utilize this hockey stick with marker towards the cranial side but if you don't have hockey stick don't bother you don't have to worry about that i also told you that we usually use the six reason approach that right to left to and mid axillary 
these are the ones you can use for 